Well, we're getting packed for an Alaska black bear hunt here that you're going to see on YouTube. And this is just a, yeah, I'm going to say the minimum of what I boil it down to for me and two camera guys to go and live on an island in southeast Alaska, hunt black bears for a week. Not saying this is all right or this is all wrong. I just I always get the question of, well, what do you take? What do you use? What do you leave behind? I'm hoping this video will answer some of the questions. And I'm going to start over here and work my way over here. So if you travel as much as I do to places like Alaska, you know that you need a really good dry bag. Here's a few things in my bag that I don't leave behind. You want to have a good waterproof glove. That's what these are. Rain gear, have the best rain gear you can find. If you want to find out how good your rain gear is or is not, Alaska will help you figure that out in a hurry. Some days we go up there and we'll have a whole week of beautiful weather. I've been up there and had a whole week of nothing but blowing terrible rain. So be prepared. Then you see we're walking around up there and I've went to the waiter pants and uh, I've been wearing these Sims things forever. Absolute bomb proof. The other thing when I go to Alaska, I bring more dry bags. One, two, three, four. People say, why do you bring so many dry bags? Because a lot of times I can't get places with traditional luggage or bags. I got to be stashing stuff in this corner of the boat or that corner of the airplane. The more I can break it down into small packages and keep it dry, the better. And I always have one dry bag that is going to be my, if the poop hits the ventilator kind of bag, if things go wrong, I always have one bag that will have in there all my necessary survival stuff. If you're going to fish from a, or hunt from a boat, make sure the person renting you the boat has life jackets, good life jackets, not those square orange ones that we had when we were kids and our parents wanted us to drown. I bring my own. I don't take any chances. I know that this is a really good life jacket. I wear it all the time. Wading shoes, if you use waders or wader, wading, boot, uh, wading pants like I do, you need wading shoes, obviously. Read the regulations. Some places in Alaska, you cannot have the old felt sole boot. Here's my tent. I always bring a two-man tent for every one person. And the reason being, in Alaska, when it rains, you want to have more space, not less space. So this is a Nalo G2 from Hilleberg. I've probably got 300 days in this tent. You're often going to have to set your camp in a pretty damp spot. There's no nice, beautiful, sandy, dry places in Southeast Alaska. I also, for my tent, uh, Hilleberg makes a footprint for every tent they make. Coolers. A lot of people ask me, how many coolers do you take for a bear hunt? Well, usually we only have one tag, me and two camera guys. If there's a second hunter, I might take a third cooler. But these are the Orion 85 quarts. On my way up there, I know that I'm going to fill these full of a lot of the stuff you see laying around here. When I come home, if I've got the head and the hide in one and all the meat in the other, that's part of why I need all these dry bags also and why I need a really big travel bag in case I got to put a bunch of stuff in there because my cooler space got eaten up by meat and, and head and hide on the way home. You can see this one is loaded with food. All kinds of mountain house, a little bit of Heather's Choice, all the sports and silverware that you could need. I never travel with these coolers without locking them. And the reason that I have these two things sitting right here is one time, I don't want you guys to do what I've done. 
One time I got to the airport and I had one of my fast gas cans inside my jet boil. You cannot bring these on a plane. Wherever you fly into, make sure that there's a place there, hardware store, or sporting goods store, or whatever, where you can get whatever gas you need. I don't even bring the propane or buy the propane when I'm up there. I just buy the power gas. And I always have two jet boils. I bring more water filtration up there than I probably need. I have this platypus system that will go in this orange emergency dry bag. And then I have another system that, that's in here that I'll show you that I keep at camp. Uh, game bags for bears, I just use the same ones I use for elk. These are the caribou game bags, they're synthetic. Do not go to Alaska without a floating rifle case for two reasons. One, it's a floating case, so obviously if something happens and your rifle goes overboard, it's going to float and you can recover it. But mostly, keep it zipped up in here. Because when you're running around in your skiff, sometimes you're hitting some, some waves and the wind's blowing the spray back in. You don't want that hitting your rifle. No matter how good of a coating you have on it, how much you've oiled it, protect it in a gun case. Then you don't got to worry about it. I always bring my Mystery Ranch backpacks, um, and then I always bring a backpack cover because I know it's going to rain, and I want to keep my pack at least as dry as possible. <clears throat> I always bring a small gun cleaning case. Uh, you never know if you fall, you get an obstruction in the barrel. This one has a cable. I can get that out of there. A lot of people ask me what I use for emergency communications. Uh, in Alaska, I use a marine band radio. Um, this one, look at that, uh, it's got emergency channels, you can get weather on it, it doesn't take hardly any space, it'll stay charged forever. Uh, in this part of Alaska, uh, if you hit one of the emergency channels, someone's going to hear you. And this thing never leaves this orange emergency bag. This is the first thing I put in this orange emergency bag and it goes with me everywhere. Never, never leave camp without it. Uh, this is my Gerber multi-tool. I've had my share of outboard motor problems up in Alaska and the Gerber multi-tools, it has pretty much everything needed to fix it. So then I bring this tote and this tote has all kinds of things in it. Some I'll, I'll weed out of here before uh, we take off. I just opened this up. So I like to bring trekking poles because when you're walking on those slimy rocks, say it's low tide or you're walking up a creek, I, I've never had a, a time when I said, gee, I wish I wouldn't have brought my trekking poles. Here's another platypus that I use and here's a big uh, Katadyne uh, base camp one. I bring both of these with. This one I use at camp. This one, if we're hiking or whatever and I'm afraid we're gonna run out of water, I bring this one. Uh, but if you're gonna filter water, have a bunch of containers to put it in. I got 18 liters here, which, you know, <laughs> that's a lot of water. Rope, you just never know for tarps, for tying off, or whatever. Bug dope. Uh, if you don't bring it with, buy it when you're up there. Trust me on that. Uh, you'll only make that mistake once. Tarps. The, the benefit is you're going to have all this rain at times. And being stuck in a tent just gets old. So it's nice to string up some tarps. You got some rope. Uh, I actually bring two of them. A fillet knife. In case you, well, for a multitude of things. Cooking stuff. If you do, or do I, I'll be taking all this cooking stuff out of here. I don't really need it in Alaska with the jet boils. We pretty much go on a, a mountain house while we're up there. So I'll get this cleaned out pretty good. Uh, what you saw there, those are pretty much the essentials. Sometimes I'll bring a bunch of these extra garbage bags. Uh, just never know when, you, when you're going to need it. I always bring an extra pulley. Sometimes on the boats, having a pulley and a pulley system for the anchor, uh, for the bow. Uh, you anchor down there, you come through here and you tie off there and you can push the boat out better. I always bring a pulley, a repair kit for uh, 
whether it's quick patch to your waders and uh, maybe if you bring an inflatable and you need a quick patch do not go to alaska without gorilla tape you never know what you're going to need it for i don't i can't list all the things i've fixed with gorilla tape up in alaska so like i said this isn't everything this isn't the perfect thing it's what works for me the first few times i went to alaska i had so much junk you would have thought I was running away from home and joining the circus or something. Now I've got it down to these basics and I'll, I'll get the rest of this tote cleaned out and then I'm able to put my gun case and my life jacket and a few other things so that this is going to be pretty light. I can lock it. I've got a little lock right there. Pretty much anything you take on TSA, you better be able to lock it. So that's it. You don't, you don't need to go on a big spending spree to go black bear hunting. You probably have some derivative of most of this stuff at home, take it to Alaska and go shoot a black bear. Thanks for watching.